This is Tonson Artois Warped Vengeance, aka Super Saiyan Trunks based on Dragon Ball series. Tonson released two types of trunks, which have slightly different color schemes and accessory sets. This is one of their first attempts at producing an action figure after successfully releasing various Vegeta headsets last year. Let's see how they fare. Type A has 9 faceplates, 6 of them are base forms while 3 are Super Saiyans. Type B also has 9 faceplates, but there are only 4 faceplates for base forms and the remaining 5 are Super Saiyans. Notice that both sets have 4 common face sculpts, shouting, gritting, serious, and smiling. Combining both sets, you get 3 unique faces, that is crying, happy, and shocked. Set A has 2 of the unique sculpts, while set B has 1. For the head, both sets have Super Saiyan and base form heads, but while set A comes with alternate bangs for the base form head, set B comes with alternate bangs for the Super Saiyan head. Both sets have 6 pairs of hands, plenty to cover most possible action poses. Tansen's special gestures are the hands in pocket and taking off jacket, which are available on both sets. Both sets have a sword, a scabbard, and a strap. Last, a pair of slash effect. Set A is translucent while set B is opaque. The faces are excellent. Tansen has released some really cool upgrade kits. This time, trunks heads are no less impressive. Skin tone is light cream, no shadings, matte finished. Decals are perfect. Lightness is great. For base form hair, set A went with his regular light purple hair, while set B went with reddish purple, similar to Bulma SDCC's hair color. The hair is nicely sculpted, but slightly untidy. Minor nut marks and seam lines are visible, to be expected from a third party company. No big deal. As usual, Tonson doesn't compensate face's length for open mouth variants, so he appears short faced. Also, his neck is thick and the head joint is short, giving the impression of short-necked, similar to Goku Legendary Figuarts. For Super Saiyan head, set A's color is matte, while set B is glossy. I think both color schemes look nice. There are some faint shading applied on both types, but they're less noticeable on the glossy hair. Sculpts are acceptable, although not as tidy as Bandai's version. Minor seam lines and knot marks are visible. The tips are not as spiky as Figuarts either. Both Super Saiyan bangs on set B looks very much alike. He doesn't have a normal Super Saiyan bangs like Bandai's trunks. Overall, the Super Saiyan heads are well crafted. Similar quality to Vegeta's head last year. No major issue, nothing disappointing. This version of Trunks appeared at the end of Android Saga where he is finally capable to destroy both 17 and 18 in his own timeline. In terms of appearance, he looks badass. He's now bulky like Goku Legendary Figuarts. Each version has a unique color scheme. I like both, but I'm not sure about screen accuracy. I don't expect precise accuracy since they're not official figures anyway. Paint job is acceptable. Only minor misbanes are present. Hardly noticeable though. Color separation is excellent. No color mismatch on the knee joints. Except they look more glossy than the legs, only from behind. There's not much intricate details to inspect due to his simple design. The belt is tidily painted and the watch is perfectly decaled. Both are nicely matte finished. My set B copy has a bad QC on the belt paint unfortunately, but this is just a minor issue that's hardly noticeable. The tank top is made of rubber, glued to his chest so it's not adjustable. Much better than sculpted shirt. His abs are also made of soft plastic to help with crunch range. So far, Tonson's trunks looks awesome. Color separation is handled fairly well, no color mismatch between parts. Plus, the even matte finish improves his overall appearance. They feel like premium Bandai figures. Incredible! The jacket is made of semi-soft plastic so it's pretty easy to assemble. You only need to remove the forearms, which is easy and safe to do because the peg is not overly tight, then pop the jacket into the forearm pegs. Tansen's design is different than Sanji Figuarts. You don't need to remove the thigh to set it up. The pocket hands just overlap his legs. You only need to slide the rail into his hips. Next, just hide the lower edge with the thigh. The pocket hands have markings to avoid confusion. Both the swords are meticulously painted. The plastic feels just like Figuarts' version. 
Tanshan used a magnet to secure the strap to avoid accidentally breaking the pegs. Looks like Tanshan's been paying attention to old design flaw. The effect is a nice addition to the set, nicely colored in gradation. Set A plastic is semi-translucent while set B is opaque. They're made of semi-hard plastic. Tanshan included a connector for each set, so you can attach them on a the standard Tamashi stage. Sadly, the opaque variant is immediately cracked when I popped in the connector. It seems the translucent variant is more supple than the opaque variant. The small effect is made of soft plastic. Both have holes to insert the sword in. Pretty cool concept. This is a first in Figuarts effects. Not to undermine Bandai's version, but Tonson's trunks looks more hard-boiled with muscular body compared to Bandai's version. The best part is, Tonson designed their own mold, not reusing Figuarts mold. The thigh is the most obvious improvement over Bandai's version. Trunks' arms are new molds, completely different than other Figuarts. Even the boots are completely different. Commendable effort from such a relatively small company. The sword and scabbard are also different. Tonson's head joint is almost identical to Figuarts, so heads are swappable. However, I feel that Tonson's head socket is slightly smaller, so putting them on Figuarts' body is a bit difficult. Tonson has plenty of faceplates in both sets. Unfortunately, they're not compatible with Bandai's head. Personally, I think both versions have acceptable likeness. I just feel Figuarts' expressions with smaller irises look more pissed than Tonson's. Both Bandai and Tonson has six pairs of hands. Notice that some of Tonson's hands are too small for Body 3.0. I prefer Bandai's hands in terms of sculpting in size. Luckily, hands are swappable. Tonson trunks weigh 79 grams, slightly heavier than BFTF trunks. He's slightly taller than BFTF trunks as well. I think trunks is not supposed to be this big, but I could be wrong. Now here are some tips for those who want to make a custom trunks. You can put the new armor trunks 2023's head on Tonson's body. However, the thick neck causes a gap in his face. You can put Tonson's leg on Figuart's body, but it's not tightly attached. Tonson's hip joint is smaller than Figuart's. Hip swap is not possible without some modifications. Figuart's right shoulder joint is bigger than Tonson's but the left shoulder joint is almost the same size. You can put Tonson's arm on Figuart's body, but they're very loosely attached, especially the right arm. Butterfly joint swap is also not possible without modification, because Figuart's pack is bigger. You can put Figuart's jacket on Tonson's body, but you need to figure out how to cover his back. Figuart's jacket is glued into the body, therefore, there's no way to remove it without damaging Figuart's body. The base form head of OG Armor Trunks is also compatible with Tonson's body, although Tonson's joint is short and barely reached the head socket. So you can create his look in Bojack Arc, although he's only good from the front view because his back is not covered. Sadly, Tonson's joint is too short for Demoniacal Fit's custom head. DF Super Saiyan head can be put on Tonson's body, but there will be gaps between head and face due to Tonson's thick neck. I hope Tonson will make Bojack and Broly trunks as well sometime soon, because they look spectacular. Let's check out his build quality. The head range is great. Only looking up is limited. The neck is on a ball joint. The range is limited due to the gapless shoulder design. The butterfly joint range is also limited, as it has a tight space to move. The joint is squeaky tight. Let's check the constructions. The arm is safe to detach. Pull out the side body plug to reveal the butterfly joint. I like Tonson's body because there's almost no gaps between parts. The butterfly joint is very tight, needs lubricating. Here I show you how to oil tight joints. The ball socket needs lubricating. And as you can see here, I'm using just a tiny drop of oil on the peg and let it soak the socket. Tonson's joints are mostly squeaky and ratchety. Highly recommended to lubricate before playing with it. Before you put them back together, lubricate the chest ball joint as well. The chest range is excellent, but it's mandatory to oil it before playing with it to avoid breaking the peck. 
make sure you fully insert the butterfly joint into the chest part when putting them back. Otherwise, the chest part won't move with the arm. Now they're safer to move. The arms can reach across body. The arm rotates 360 degrees. The ball joint is also squeaky tight. Highly recommended to lubricate. The sideways range is excellent. The biceps swivel. Also stiff and ratchety. Highly recommended to lubricate as well. The elbow is double hinged. Excellent bent range. The forearm swivels. The hand is on a hinged back. Standard range. The hip is on a ball joint. It rotates 360 degrees. The belt is untethered. Rotates 360 degrees. Combined range between chest and waist is excellent. The legs go up 90 degrees. The abs crunch is above average. The backward range is acceptable. The sideways range is extraordinary. Full split baby. The thigh swivels. The knee is double hinged. Bends about 150 degrees. The feet is on a hinged back. The range is great. The toes bent 90 degrees. As you can see, he's got exceptional poseability with some overly tight joints. The build quality is very good for a third party figure. For those who've been trying to mod BFTF trunks with Gohan's arms since last year, do not hesitate to get Tonson trunks because Tonson Art Toys made stunning variants of tank top trunks. These trunks are using completely new molds and nicely designed. They're fun to play with as long as you lubricate all the joints. At 80 bucks per set, I'd say these figures are expensive. However, compared to their 40 bucks Vegeta heads, these trunks are a bargain. Just look at the many expressions you can make with the included head and faces. For what it's worth, Tonson could have released just the heads for 40 bucks and still make easy money from them. But they decided to go the hard way by giving us a completely new figure as well. Personally, I love it when new companies design their own figures, not just the mix and match parts from Figuarts releases. That said, both tank top trunks are highly recommended to get if you're a Dragon Ball collector. With Bandai's current rate of churning out new characters, I doubt we'll ever see an official release of this version. But who knows? Maybe Bandai decided to wake up after seeing how fast these trunks sold out. Alright, that's all from me. If you'd like to discuss something, please comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. See you next time. Bye!